Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. It's uh, that, that, that time of the week where we bring in our good friend, Charles Alvarez. He's with Cornerstone Business Academy, and uh, that's cornerstonebusinessacademy.com, a phenomenal sales and marketing consultant and coach. Does great things for companies. I know he's done great things for my company, and uh, I'm one of his happiest clients, I'm sure. And uh, always, I feel like a walking uh, billboard uh, and telling others about how great his work is. Charles, welcome to the program. How are you, sir? Doing well. Thanks for having having me on the show. Always. And uh, you got a guest today. Uh, very interesting. I'm really glad you're going to be doing the uh, name pronouncing at the beginning rather than <laughs> me. And uh, look forward to uh, chatting with uh, with him today on a, on a very important topic that's at, at the heart of uh, businesses everywhere. Go ahead and introduce your guests. You know, Kevin, you're right. Normally, I'm happy to bring on a guest, but I'm absolutely thrilled at having Kirill uh, Benzanoff. Did I say that right, Kirill? That's right. Hey, how about that? Not bad for a Cuban <laughs> from Dallas, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> he is the uh, CEO of Computer Support. His website is computersupport.com. Kirill, welcome to our show. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. That is, by the way, a great name for your company. It's amazing. How long, how long have you owned that domain name? I think it's since about 2008. We actually got started in 2006, uh, and, and we had a different name. That's still our legal name, but in about 2008, we actually were lucky to uh, to have found this domain that uh, that uh, actually signified what we do to a uh, to a pretty good degree. That's interesting. And, and did you end up paying a fortune for that name, or, or were you lucky on that as well? A small fortune. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. With a name like Computer Support, I buy 2008. I would think so. By the way, I traveled extensively to Belarus. I, I heard through my producer that's where you're from. Went to Minsk very often. Uh, in fact, I travel. I think I've been there at least four times. And uh, really incredible place. Great people. And uh, gl- glad to have uh, have you on the program. Well, thank you very much again. Yeah, I'm actually from Minsk myself, and uh, I haven't been back in a while. The last time I was there was uh, maybe three years ago. But yeah, it's a pretty good place. Yeah. All right. I'm going to let Charles take, ask a bunch of questions since I have dominated the first part of the segment. Go ahead, Charles. So, Kirill, tell us about your business. I mean, I know that you do computer support, uh, IT outsourcing, but, you know, there's a lot of companies in the United States that, that do that, but you've been extraordinarily successful at it. What makes you different, and uh, what value do you bring to the marketplace that your competitors simply don't? Sure. Um, yeah, I mean, just to, uh, just to back up a little bit, a, a small step, uh, we, we, we do still do computer support, as our name suggests, and actually in 2008, uh, that is primarily what we were doing. But in about 2009, um, as cloud services were kind of on the, on the upswing, uh, if you will, uh, we built a cloud-based product, uh, essentially for, our, for some of our small business clients and, and to, for us to use internally. Um, and since then, that has kind of been uh, the, the anchor and, and the driver of our business, and um, you know, it, it's still definitely in its, uh, in its infancy, and, 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 uh, but it, it's, it's definitely one of the products that separates us from the pack. Yeah, very good, very good. What would you say is in terms of the size range of the companies that use your service? Uh, our, our cloud product, it's called IT Anywhere Cloud, is used by companies anywhere as, as small as about 10 employees and up to about 100 employees. And our traditional managed services, uh, uh, is used by companies of about 20 to about 500 in size. Interesting. Charles? So what are the main challenges, uh, Kirill, that you think your clients or that you believe that your clients are facing when it comes to uh, their IT infrastructure, and, and how do you go about addressing those challenges? There's lots of different challenges. I mean, now it's um, in today's day and age, things like bring your own device or, or um, uh, security seem to, be, uh, seem to be on the forefront of people's minds. Um, specifically, security is, is definitely uh, things that is, is definitely something that people are talking about um, all the time with all the big, you know, outbreaks and and, and all the big uh, uh, hacks that have happened in the recent while. Um, and now, you know, security is one of those things that you uh, I don't think anyone can solve perfectly. But what we do is essentially we bring a best practice scenario to the to our small business customers and help them understand what the risks are and, and how, to, how to potentially mitigate those risks. Do you want to mention the website again? It's computersupport.com. That's computersupport.com. Charles? So, Kirill, tell us a, a recent, um, you know, either client case study or, a, 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 you know, kind of an example of 
how you went about uh, addressing or understanding what a client's issue was when it came to their IT issues, uh, what you did to fix it, and what the ultimate end result was. Sure. Um, I mean, I think a good example is a, uh, we recently started working with a financial services company with regional offices throughout the, throughout the East Coast. Um, one of their challenges was is that they had a server infrastructure uh, that, w- that resided in the data center, and, and all their key applications were running on those servers. And so the folks that worked for them uh, traveled extensively and, and worked in airports and hotels and things like that. Uh, now getting to those applications, which were, were critical to, to running their business, was a challenge. Uh, they had to use things like VPN and and uh, long wait times to open up files and so forth. And, and the way we addressed that specific challenge is we took the application stack uh, that was hosted um, in on their servers in a Colo uh, data center and moved them out to the cloud. Now what that did is uh, uh, the customer could now log on quickly anywhere they are. Uh, all the applications are presented to them very fast uh, on any device, any time, uh, and they lowered their cost a lot. So, so we solved a few challenges there in one shot. Yeah, very good, very good. And uh, is there particular industries that are are hot when it comes to your your business? You know, that serve as good clients. Uh, we work a lot with professional financial services. So professional services could be engineers or architects, uh, some healthcare providers, or or uh, healthcare related services. And financial services are just those. Uh, could be you know uh, wealth in- uh, investment advisors or. Uh, our consultants to uh, to broker dealers, and, and we do work with some FINRA regulated broker dealer companies as well. Very good, Charles. So, Kirill, you know, with with uh, the IT industry changing so quickly, how does your company stay kind of on top of things that that's changing in the uh, in the industry? And um, you know, how do you go about you know kind of weeding out? Okay, this technology is cool and all, but it doesn't really solve a lot of business issues. Whereas, you know, things like the cloud, you know things like uh, handheld devices, mobile apps, stuff. Uh, How do you go about determining what should I use or what should I offer my clients that solve their business issues versus, yeah, this is cool and all, but it really doesn't solve anything? Sure, great question. Uh, First and foremost, we talk a lot with our existing customer base. Uh, That is one of the things we we pride ourselves on doing. We we meet with our customers regularly, and out of those meetings, we constantly hear about things they'd like to do better or or, or technologies they'd like to, to have. Um, as part of their suite. Um, and that kind of serves as the primary catalyst for looking at new technologies. Um, another way of doing things is, is uh, you know, we're very active in the industry, so uh, some of our key uh, engineers and, and, our, and our key decision makers are, are constantly out there, you know, with events, meeting with partners, meeting with uh, industry leaders and whatnot, and uh, then going back to the office and trying to figure out what technologies would benefit our customers the most and, and then testing those technologies and, hopefully implementing some of them. We, we don't consider ourselves being on the bleeding edge of technology, but we're, we're, we're somewhere a little bit behind that. We may, want to make sure the, the stuff we implement is, has, been, uh, has been well tested and secure. Mm-hmm. Very good, very good. Fix I have to wrap it up. Uh, give your website. Uh, I'll give your website. It's so easy. Even I can remember. <laughs> Computersupport.com. Computersupport.com. Meanwhile, you can reach Charles Alvarez over at CornerstoneBusinessAcademy.com. Charles, wrap it up with about a minute left. Kirill, thanks for having us. Uh, thanks for being on the show. One thing that I will want to say about computer support is they really are your end-to-end IT solutions provider. Not only do they do a great job when it comes to uh, supporting your IT infrastructure, but if you need a temporary CIO or staff augmentation, which I know here in Houston it's a big issue, finding great resources to help uh, uh, run your IT office, they do that as well. So, Kirill, thank you very much for being on our show. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for having me. It was a pleasure. You bet. When we come back tomorrow, we're going to have much more for you. I do want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at usdatareview.com. While they're liking it on Facebook, follow it on Twitter. Have a great day. Spend it right here.